money. Time value of money. And it goes something like this. Uh, isn't it true that our income grows? Income. Hopefully. <laughs> Average incomes in America grow consistently every year. Is that true? Is that true? On average, they grow. Do they grow very slow? Yeah. Yeah, they grow at about a rate of 2%, something like that, just to keep up with inflation. However, there's another line here <laughs> called expenses. Actually, yeah. screw this all up, sorry. <laughs> this is time. This is money. Income goes up. Yes? Yes. Income. We have another thing called expenses. And expenses look something like this. You start out somewhere around here. You graduate college or after high school you get a job. You start working that job. And you have expenses. So let's say that line on the bottom is your expenses and the line on top is your income. And you're trucking right along, right? You're making more money than you're spending. Are you doing okay? Yes. As a matter of you're probably saving a little bit. But just like income increases on average every year, average expenses, or should I say, the cost of living increases as well. But the rate that cost of living increases is greater than average incomes. You all see this? Yeah. It's called expenses. So a person who may be okay today because they're making more money than they're spending may not truly be okay as the years and months pass by. This is the reason why you see 50, 60, 70 year olds working at Walmart saying welcome to Walmart is because they get to those later years and they just simply did not plan ahead. And so to counteract this loss right here that's anticipated, unless you're living under a rock and you're in denial, we all need something that could potentially explode our income. You all see how this works? Because guess what? A job's income is not gonna grow like that. Most businesses' income is not, are not going to grow like that because most businesses, as the business grows, as the business scales itself up, the expenses scale up just in the same rate. But in Legal Shield, guess what? Did you all see the expenses? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Did you all see Mr. Mr. Maluta talk about the expenses? Yes. So let's say a person makes $20,000 a year in the Legal Shield business. Are they making more money than they're spending? Yes. yes. But as they go from $20,000 a year to $50,000 a year to $100,000 a year, what happens to their business's expenses? They stay, what happens to their business's expenses? They stay the same. This does not hold true for most people in most careers. As a matter of fact, I remember graduating college, and a lot of my colleagues that I went to college with went on to earn a six-figure income at their fancy finance jobs, but nine, or should I say eight out of 10 of those friends uh, have, been, have gone through layoffs in the last couple of three years, okay? And I promise you, as they got those fancier jobs, they had to keep up with their coworkers who got the nicer BMW and got the nicer apartment. And so as their income continued to increase, they increased their lifestyle and they kept themselves in a situation where things were always tight. But when they lost their job, guess what happens to their lifestyle within three months? They were out of that New York City apartment, they were out of that BMW, car repossessed, moved back in with their parents and going through financial hardships. And so we just are here to educate you, okay? It's okay that we educate you on the reality of building a successful business because we want you leaving out of here as a strong leader because if you're gonna build a big organization, guess what? Nobody wants a financial dud as a sponsor, as a mentor, isn't that correct? Yeah. So it's right. important, I believe, that we educate ourselves and we become empowered with, with how finances work because you're gonna have a lot of people that show up in your business who have their job and they feel like they're okay but they don't understand what the future holds. And this is like the biggest scam in history of, of how the, the financial system in the world works. It, it's not gonna hit you early on, it's gonna hit you later on. And so it's really, really important that we plan ahead, that we, that we plan to the future and we build that asset that has the potential to really explode. And so I'm excited to bring on board the next speaker. And uh, I'll tell you what, this individual uh, has built a business that has all different facets of the Legal Shield opportunity in it. And so he's just a phenomenal example of someone who didn't just build a team, but he's marketed a lot of group memberships, a lot of small business memberships, and he's got all types of people in his organization who specialize in all these different areas. And so I want to go ahead and bring on to the stage a gentleman who's qualified as an executive director for years and years and years, has produced other executive directors in this organization, has built a very successful business. Team U Freedom, please help me welcome to the stage. Top executive director, one of Team U Freedom's next six-figure ringers, Mr. Jack Matson! <laughs> <laughs> 